Hi guys, I'm Sandy Priawood and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for the IMDBE specifically for international dentists and international dental students. When I was researching on how to do it, I felt so overwhelmed because there was so much to do but once I did it, it wasn't so bad so I just wanted to share with you guys to hopefully make it less complicated. Step 1. Create a dent pin. The link will be in the description below. Here you have to fill in your personal information, like your first name, no middle name, your last name, your birthday, and you don't have to put in these information if you don't want to. Fill in your address, city, the country. For your phone number, the format has to be exactly like this. So for example, 123-456-7899. Um, just make sure that you put the dashes in between the numbers, put in your email, and click on continue. Create a password. If you're a current dental student, click on this and you have to fill in these information like your dental school and your graduation year. Because my school is not in the United States, I have to select school not listed and once you're done, click on submit and your dent pin confirmation page will show up and it will look something like this. Your dent pin is an 8 digit number where you have to take note of and keep it safe. Your dent pin is very important. You'll need it for basically everything. Step 2. Get a course evaluation from ECE. You'll need to get your transcripts evaluated by ECE in which they will prepare your foreign transcript and convert them into American grades. If you have a degree, They'll need to convert that too, so send that in as well. To do this, start by going to ece.org. Click on Applicants to U.S. Institutions, Further Education. You can read through these and click on Apply Now. Create Account. I am an individual, so I'd click here. So I'll actually create another account right now just so you guys can see what this process is like. Fill in your personal information like your first name, last name, email. Password. Let's check I'm not a robot. Create account. Then you have to activate your account on your email before you can proceed to the next steps. So I'll activate right now. Once you've done that, click on Start US Application. Put in your birthday. For report copies, I didn't order one for myself, so I left it at that. Enter your address information, country, city, phone number, and the delivery will cost $65 and then you can click on continue. For institutions receiving the ECE report, type in JCNDE. Select this one. This is only for taking the INDBE. If you want to use this to apply for dental schools as well, you have to add more institutions. You can search for the name of your institution up here. And once you're done, you can click on continue. The purpose of ordering a report would be for their education. Select graduate and type in dentistry, click on continue. On this page, select a general report with grade average, which will cost $130.
A little tip here, if you're planning to apply to dental schools in the United States, you can select course by course report here and use this for both your INDBE and dental school applications. This helps you save some money because dental schools in the States also require a course evaluation from ECE or WES. So instead of paying for both separately, you only pay for the course by course evaluation. But please check with the school you're applying to. Sometimes they don't accept ECE. Sometimes they require your whole education history, including your postgrads, undergrads, and high school. So don't forget to check the school's requirements before you pick this. Then you click on continue. Fill in your education history information. You can have all of your degrees evaluated like postgrad, undergrad, and high school. But I just did evaluations on my dental school and high school just so I could get this done as quick as possible. All of the transcripts would have to be sent directly from your school, whether electronically or mailed in, but it has to be directly from your school. So that's where it could take some time. So enter these information, Thailand, institution name, the city, Fill in the dates, name of degree in native language, for me it would be in Thai, and um, yes I want it to be evaluated, and click on save education history. Then you can add more schools, and once you're done, click on continue. They will ask you to review the required documents specifically for your country. Usually, they'd have your school submit the original documents in a sealed envelope, but because of COVID, they accept electronic documents sent from your school to this email. The email sent from your school has to be from a verifiable email address of the institution and your school has to include your name and your ECE reference number. Or if your school can't send it electronically, you can ask your school to mail your documents in as well. Once you're done with that, you can put a check mark here and click on continue. These are the instructions on how to send your documents. It could be mailed in or sent electronically to this email address. So if your transcript is not in English, you also have to send in the translations. For ECE, you may prepare the translations yourself, but make sure that they're word for word and in the same format as the original document. Click on continue here. You can choose to pay an extra $80 for the rush service, or if you have time, you can just select no rush service. I did do the rush service and I felt like they really put me at the top of the list. And so I was very happy with that service. So you can also use their translation service, which costs $50. But to me, I think it's, so much quicker to just translate it yourself. And then you can click and continue again. Review your application. The total cost will be $225. If everything looks all right, click and continue. You'll have to sign electronically here. Click on sign and submit and you will be taken to the payment page. If you have any more questions, their ECE live chat is so, so helpful. I asked them a ton of questions and their response was very prompt and answered all my questions. Don't forget to contact your schools and have them send in those transcripts or degrees. Step three is only for current dental students or for students who haven't received their dental degree yet. If you're graduated, then you can just skip the step. But if not, you need a certificate of eligibility, which can be found in the link below. 
fill in the form and get your dean signature and your school seal. Usually you'd have to mail it to the address here, but because of COVID again, we can send it through email, which makes it a lot easier for us. The email is in the description below and make sure your email includes your dent pin. Once they have received your course evaluation from ECE, they will send you an email saying that it has been accepted, which leads us to our last step. Step four, apply to take the INDBE. This can also be found in the link below. Click on apply for the INDBE. Log in with your dent pin and password. and select dental student in a non-accredited dental school or dentist graduate of a non-accredited dental school you can add in more information school still not listed and graduation year whether you've taken indpe before and click on continue Click on the recipients you want your INDPE results to be sent to. You can select up to three recipients. If you want to add more, it will cost you extra. So select three here. And click on continue. The total cost will be $985. And you can click on continue again. So I'll put a check mark here, check mark, type in your name, and finally click on continue and you will be directed to the payment page. Now all you have to do is wait for them to send an email to say that you're eligible to take the IMDBE. Um, then you can pick a date and then schedule your exam. The instructions will all be in the email and you're all set. You can now book for a flight and um, study for 10 hours a day. I know this is quite a long process and it can be very confusing, but I hope this video makes it better for you. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be uploading more videos on how to study for the INDBE and um, which material helped me the most, how to apply to dental schools in the United States, and things like that. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below, and bye for now!